What we want is three offensive players, please, are on the three-point line. Any three, it doesn't matter. Bree and Eddie, take a break. You guys just played. Give me three offensive players. Quick, one more. Good. And we want two defensive players at the elbows. Quick. Ball up top. Is it Sam? Yep, ball up top with Sam. Good. So last thing we're going to talk about is, again, this might be a concept that some of the kids in BWA programming understand is split kick extra. So we're going to try and fly through this really quickly, but we just use this terminology as a really key tool for making decisions. Because again, when we roll the balls out and play three on three, five on five straight away, as a coach, you can't be catch, reverse, pivot, shoot. You can only give them little tools to help them make decisions. So we are going to play three on two. Three offensive players, two defensive players. Sam, you can pick which way you pass. I want you to start by passing to Coop though, please. Defensively, you must touch the three-point line with your foot before you're allowed to play defense. Because the basketball is over here, where do you think you're probably going to be? Yeah, you're probably going to drop. From there, Coop, we're just playing live three on two and you're trying to score. Let's go to the start, guys. Let's play, Sam. Quick, same offense, same defense. Do this three or four times. Same O, same D, guys. Here we go. Good. Same offense, same defense. Let's go again. Good. Great job. Good. Set it up and freeze. Give her a round of applause, guys. Set it up and freeze. So we didn't get through any of the teachings just there, but what we did is we spent three or four possessions getting them familiar with the framework of a drill. Because again, if I asked them to do that and then went, okay, now here's why we're doing the drill. We're going to do this, 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 and this. They got no hope of remembering all of it. So now that they understand how the drill works, we're going to give them the key coaching points of it. Throw the ball to Coop for me, please, Sam. Defense, hold up there, Coop. Defense, do what you would do. So get to there and drop for me. What we're going to get Coop to do is create something that we call a split. A split is when you beat a player and you put pressure on the rim or keyway. So you're going to create a split and dribble and try to get to the hoop. Let's pretend you get stopped right here, Coop. So you're rotating your defense, your defense. If you can't score, what are you probably gonna do? You're gonna kick it, so kick it to a teammate. That's the kick part. And now rewinding this drill all the way back to the second drill that we did, we're gonna work on that extra pass component that we did in the elbow stuff. So again, they, have know that they haven't known that they've done it. We've already seen little elements in a warm-up drill that we've done. If, this is for everyone here, you catch the ball, on a kick out pass from Cooper, you have two choices, only two. They are shoot or pass. You are not allowed to redrive back into the keyway. Does that make sense? Again, Coop, you're trying to score if you can. If not, we get a kick and a shot or a kick and an extra. All right, let's go back to the start. Let's see how we go. Go to Coop for me, please. Here we go, play. Good, shoot it. What stopped you from shooting it straight away? What'd you have to do when you caught the ball? Right yeah, get in stance straight away. When you get rid of it, get in stance. Same group, here we go. Let's go again for me, Sam, get in stance. Get in stance, Sam, good. Last one, set it up again. It's almost like you know this drill, Coop. Here we go. Go back to Coop. I love that you did that, Cooper. Ball with you. One thing straight away, we have an advantage, disadvantage situation, and I'm picking on him because he's done it before, is we're trying to do what the coach has said straight away. Get kickouts, get splits. But again, like we play basketball to put the ball in the bucket. Coop, I want you to try and get to the layup. Yeah, you're just taking one dribble and getting rid of it. I want you to try and get to the hoop. All right, let's go back to the start. Here we go. Good, great job. Go again, set it up. Good, drive to the hoop, drive to the hoop. Good, great job. Come on, defense, let's be a little more active, please. Here we go, try to get some stops, defense. Next stop, one more, let's go, one more. Good, what can you do, Coop? Good, freeze. Coop, if you didn't want to shoot that, what was your only other option? Why do we think, so Coop, I'm going to pick on you again, go to the corner. 
go to where you were when Cooper had the ball. We had offense, the defense close to the mat, defense there. Why would we not want you to redrive into the keyway? The defense is already there. We just had a kick out pass. So one thing that we try to do with kids is we try to teach in threes and little rhymes. So when we talk about split, kick, extra, we can add little phrases to it. And again, it's depending on your age. One thing we like to do is kick arrives, no drives. So we go create a split, try to get to the hoop one-on-one. -on -one. And one terminology we use for Coop here is kick arrives, no drives. So he knows straight away, right, I've got a shot or no drive, I've got to get rid of it. All right, let's go one more time from the top, guys. Go to that side for me, please. Good. Go again, go again, guys, let's go. Way to be active, defense, great hands. Be aggressive, offense. Great job, great job. Way to be unselfish, nice job. Good job, guys, we're done. Good job. Give him a round of applause for me, please, guys.